Shema, it's BPR, welcome in the new video. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys that uh, after living in Malaysia five years, well, nearly soon will be five years, I thought not, not many things will surprise me. I get used to, to so many things, uh, like a food, the, the weather, uh, and then driving here but to be honest with you there will always be from time to time something that is gonna shock me and the situation that I'm <laughs> gonna tell you about is just crazy and yeah and 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 it's just I, I don't know what people have in their minds and and yeah I'm talking about the drivers and, and I'm gonna tell you what's the situation but could be a little bit hard to explain you actually what's happened because the biggest problem is that uh, uh, that is hard to well it's hard to like uh, describe actually everything so i will try to do my best that i will tell you the situation then and let you can let me know in the comments what do you think about us because i think it's just just not normal are you agree with me huh yeah we cut his hair <laughs> yesterday so a little bit better now anyway let's go to the point so that's the that's the what's happened uh, last time so what actually happened is that there is a junction in front of my condo so every single time when you want to enter the condo whole area here you need to just turn the right on the lights and and you just have to wait so on this place there is a uh, uh, many people try to do the illegal u-turn because yeah you cannot do u-turn here and you have to go like uh, maybe 100 meters like <laughs> further to the to the to do to, to do your your turn but most people just don't care and they will just do so it's like you have a one line that go in the right side second two lines that is from the left side you can go only straight so what's happened we was going back on saturday from the kiara we was just driving well i was driving to to home and i noticed that there is a car on the left side that tried to go into the line and i was the first one and there is like a dividers that you can't go in so i was thinking okay i will let those people in maybe someone make mistake maybe turn too too late or things like this or just i don't know they didn't have a chance to go into the line that uh, actually go into our condo so i was like quite polite i was like okay i will let you in so actually this person what did <laughs> He did the U-turn in front of my car. Basically, wait for a green light. So we both like start to go in, and basically it's like a it's like a bend like this that go into the to the to the our parking zone and things like this to the commercial zone. So I thought he's gonna go the same way. So I go. He 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 start to drive. I start to drive. And then I noticed that he start to do the U-turn. And trust me, it's it's already quite hard to do the U-turn over there. If you if you if you on the line that actually is for a turning right to the condo, then he jumped in front of me. So of course I start to hold on him and I was like, what? The, I mean, <laughs> what you doing? You know what I mean? Then he stopped the car and he hold on me and he was like a surprise. What I'm doing that? I was like, uh, are you gonna get out from the car or what? What are you gonna do now? And then I start to thinking like, uh, do do those people don't have a like? A, I don't know what they thinking. Even if you miss your like a junction. Even if you miss the turn, there is another U-turn, especially that I saw that he's using a sat -nav. But probably he just can't be asked to do things like this, so he wants to just go straight away and just cut the line or whatsoever. Anyway, many people doing here things like this, but it's like, how can you it, like a, just do the U-turn in front of the cars? And it's like a, when there is a green light, yeah, then you can turn right and go up or down to the condo. It depends are you going commercial or residential, it doesn't matter. But you have to go like up, so we cannot do the U-turn in front of the cars. Then the people who wants to leave the condo, they have a green light as well. So it's quite quite normal, quite normal, like a junction, nothing, nothing complicated, nothing special. And people still doing things like this. And it's just crazy. Not mention about uh, not mention about this that many many times happen that people go on the red light. So I'm going to tell you guys that sooner or later here will be a big accident and to those who knows this place where I live which is which is like a united point then maybe you are familiar with how to get in here how to get out then you actually will know what I'm talking about because it's just really strange and it's really this just junction is really not safe especially that really really many many cars uh, many many motorbikes especially those uh, uncles or grab drivers they will never wait on the red light 
they will just go and it really can cause a big problem and I'm gonna tell you guys that there was a for me for now since since I moved in like a one and a half year ago there was already like a two situation that happens for me that I nearly have an accident so sooner or later the, something will happen here and really someone can really get hurt and then I don't understand another thing why people doing here things like this when they're driving you know they put like a dividers the cones the metal cones so of course after one week maybe they already was few broken ones and I don't know how people actually driving here is like they just don't pay attention on their own already was broken and <laughs> I don't know some of them look like some will rip them off because they don't allow to go straight or turn right from the different lines and I think this is not the only one place that I saw that people doing things like this there is a lot of places actually here on the road under the uh, under the Duke Highway that there is like a cones that divide the roads but people still just don't care people just go in so I just don't understand like uh, sometimes I have a feeling like they found out the uh, I don't know the, the the driving license in a pack of a chips or something because it's just it's just really not normal and I'm, I'm really I'm serious right now that I always say to myself that there is a lot of things that can surprise me here but really after after so many years because I can say that I already nearly five years is quite a lot but still things like this can surprise and me that he's still like a there to horn on me and, and may, who knows maybe he showed something because I didn't see I was more focused to just go to my to my direction just go back to home he's like what kind of am I thinking is it just like it's just like crazy it's like you make mistake you make a problem possibly your kind of attitude is is, is really bad and, and then possibly you can cause the cause the cause the accident on the road but still you are like a like a denial that you do something wrong and then you still own the people i'm telling you guys sometimes it's really i just i just i just don't know i'm just speechless i'm just speechless even 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 my wife said that this is just not normal what people do in here and i don't know i don't know sometimes i have a feeling like uh like people just don't care here how they're driving like uh or maybe i think i told you a few times that sometimes i think that maybe if there will uh, the fine will be bigger or maybe there will be like a police more police cars patrols or i don't know whoever is responsible for that then maybe it will be more safer here uh, it's just crazy it's just crazy so i just can't like uh I just can't deal with it sometimes <laughs> you see the you see the car you see the car you see the signs and you know that you already make mistake and you want to do something illegal you see the cars that they are in front waiting for a green light they want to go the, to the direction that they supposed to go which is only allowed to go in the one direction from there but you still want to break the rules you still want to go on the red light you still want to do the illegal u-turn and things like this even though you can't do things then you're gonna stop and you're gonna try to do and just like don't care just hold back on you because someone just like uh tell you that you can't do things like this or <laughs> it's just really just crazy it's just crazy and i think i saw a lot of other things and i don't know maybe slowly like i told you on the beginning of the of the video there is not a lot of the things that will surprise me anymore in malaysia but from time to time really the situation on the road are just crazy not even mentioned that now uh, every day nearly I watch one channel with, uh, from the from the dashcam from the Malaysia and sometimes I'm just shaking my hand because I don't have a word to describe on the situation what's happening with those drivers uh, it's just it's just really not normal and yeah it's not like only things like this on the road happen in Malaysia so don't get me wrong or yeah just just saying that to avoid those comments oh it's not only in Malaysia because I do believe that uh, the, the, the situation like this happened in other countries as well yeah yeah I know just just saying that uh, just things like this just, just just crazy and since I'm living in Malaysia now since I'm here then basically the, the channel is about me living in Malaysia and tell you the story or things that happened to me uh, when I live here so so I'm just describing the situation that just happened for me in this saturday so yeah don't get me wrong i know that many countries probably have the same problem so yeah so malaysia is nothing like a special about this but uh, i still think that uh, some of the drivers he just just drive really reckless and just don't care about that's why it. i start to thinking though that maybe even even if the car that we're driving which is uh honda city which is i don't know 10 11 years 
I, st I still believe that maybe it's worth to buy the 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 camera, the CCTV, in, uh, the, 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 the the to the uh, to our car to record those kind of. Uh, what is this? Travel plan. Yeah, distracted by something. Uh, yeah, to record situation on the road because sometimes I <clears throat> I have a feeling that maybe in case of uh, any kind of accident or something, then maybe have a this that's uh, just quite good. Uh, I mean, you will have a proof that you didn't do nothing wrong or something. Especially that now I think those cameras that you can buy they are not really like a very expensive, and maybe it's just worth to invest that few hundred ringgit and just put in the car and in case of someone try to I don't know sue you later or try to get the insurance or, or try to force you to pay for a. Uh, for any damages then maybe better just invest few ringgit and few hundred ringgit and just just do the and install the camera in the in a car that will be that's it in this video uh, nothing more to tell about this because yeah what what else i can say besides um i was a uh, shock a little bit but nothing like uh anyway <laughs> you know what i mean uh what can I say? Uh, thank you for watching. If you like it, I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, leave the like. If you're new on the channel, uh, consider leaving subscription if you if you like the content. Uh, thank you for your support, for the views, for all the likes that you leave in. It's helped to reach more people. So thank you so much for that. And <laughs> see you after a few days. See you to the well. Have a good day. Oh, I forgot to say, have a good day. See you in the next video. Uh, and let's see what the next few days will bring so take care guys and see you in the next one bye bye